crypto was started in 2014, as I understand, and that's a whole decade ago. So uh, how did it all start for crypto 10 years ago? Uh, let me answer that question, maybe. Um, uh, it started from our guys, our fellas, uh, to come with idea to make some music. Uh, I wasn't present at the band at the time. Um, I have joined like um, half a year later. Uh, so, so that's basically it. Uh, I've met uh, Dmitry Dima on forum. Uh, we scheduled our meeting, and uh, here I am. <laughs> Igor? Um, it's a bit of a funny, because uh, generally we knew each other uh, with Dima from one of our hobby projects, not music-related. Uh, so he just knew my face and uh, stumbled upon me when I was taking uh, singing lessons. Uh, okay, I'm a drummer, taking singing lessons, everything's logical. Uh, he stumbled upon me and uh, it turned out that he has a band in the need of a drummer. So here's that. At that time, we were constantly moving, moving uh, our musicians. Uh, we couldn't find enough people to take part in our project. It was it was a content struggle. Uh, we couldn't find uh, a drummer. We couldn't find uh, a normal bass player. Um, we were considering changing vocalists. Um, it was a long and painful process. Yeah, but then eventually uh, something started building up, and. Uh, uh, the, it all went up into what was released as an album recently, when uh, there's a lineup of seven. So eventually we found uh, the right vocalist, uh, the bass player, but okay, uh, since we have uh, since we first had COVID, which uh, slashed uh, the live uh, scene and then we had the war right now we are um, being watched uh, back to the basics there is not much of us uh, active right now but uh, since we are talking the album there was seven and it was really fun when i'm listening to that stuff i'm relieving all that uh, hope emotions that went into building that music the first demo came out in 2018, so how would you kind of describe this time between the uh, first demo and the, and the ready eight songs? Like, how was the evolution of the music? The music itself didn't really evolve much, because uh, initially we mm, found uh, our base uh, with regards to writing. Uh, then uh, came seven songs. Uh, we were recording demo when we already uh, playing all of that stuff live. Um, the eighth uh, song, uh, Shum, was recorded a bit earlier than it shouldn't uh, have been. I mean that it was a bit raw when uh, we went to, uh, to studio with it. But it was like now or never. But Generally, at uh, uh, year 18, all of the tracks uh, were pretty much in the same shape that they hit uh, the album. But we initially did the demo so we have something to show. And uh, in a year or two, don't forget, uh, we are, again, a band, but uh, everyone has a life outside of music. Mm. Around, I think, uh, 2019, where was my... Fuck, uh, I recorded my parts uh, before COVID strike. If hand, uh, looks, looks like it. I didn't even remember it, but uh, I did my drums uh, before COVID. 
and the rest was long and painful because you know covid uh, fucked everything uh, scheduling uh, stuff and uh, we have a really funeral male vocalist his funeral in everything you know like 30 bpm and uh, i don't fucking give a shit um so he led his parts around uh, year 22 uh yeah pretty much like it so um, the songs are i think five years ready at least but the recording uh, and perfection and you know uh, we have such strange thing called democracy um i'm not sure that this is a good idea when you have a band of seven meaning that uh, everyone um, had to be at least not so angry with the final mix this alone took at least half a year yes abs- absolutely so absolutely so um i need to notice once again none of us um is a professional musician so we are actually a bunch of amateurs uh, and we really have our own life like job uh, family stuff so on so on um and the next thing uh, about uh, songwriting and uh, why it took so long from a uh, demo record to an album um, that's our writing style we have mm, for example we have song one uh, we work it out uh, we bring some ideas modify it play around um, change things okay it's almost ready mm, put it aside there's track number two uh, same things uh, put in some ideas work at studio uh, some some nuances some uh, small things and then hey look i have a little idea let's change something and it's it, track one okay put that track to aside take track one make changes uh, go back to track two and then uh, eventually came track three uh, so we are playing not with track one not with track two but with one two and three at the same time almostly uh so the first demo two songs there two or three two uh in uh, 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 long time ago yeah a long time ago uh, a long time uh, long th- time ago yeah uh, we uh, came those... up those two are pretty much the same that went into the album we just recorded them better i mean that uh, for the demo uh, i don't remember but i think uh, i did midi drums just to save time uh, and i was not comfortable with it but we had to put something out so the first uh, thing i wanted for the album uh, for the drums to be alive for uh, production to be generally better and we did all that uh, so the demo is just it uh, mm. it's uh, second to second uh, bar to bar the same songs just more Almost. hastily uh, the stu- uh, more hasty studio work uh, you can hear a lot of different things in there like uh, classic doom and symphonic things and uh, modern influences and of course violin plays a big role so uh, you have been talking about uh, a bit about the creative process but how do you kind of balance all this <laughs> fun fun thing fun things about about this balance uh, you see uh, lately um, i agree with ideas that metal music is not actually a genre okay like uh, you have so many bands so many sub genres and so um, those are so unlike each other so different um, i really like an idea is that metal music is more about production about um, some patterns like heavy drums punchy riffs and those guitar chucky chucky guitars uh, all stuff like that um, and our ba- band in particular uh, is that example when um, we all agree about production, right? About those guitars, drums, and things. Um, but we, uh, everyone, all of us, um, have pretty different tastes in music. Uh, someone, some like 
death music or um, death metal, uh, doom stuff, uh, funeral, uh, and uh, T Tanya, Tatiana, our female vocalist, uh, I don't think she even likes metal at all, but um, um, let me rephrase Lemmy's words about uh, its own music after all. I know a bit more about uh, Tatiana's uh, tastes, a bit more. Uh, generally, I introduced uh, her to heavy music. This was like uh, a musical side affair for her because she's a classically trained, uh, classically trained violinist. Uh, I think uh, that our band is uh, the first time that uh, when she sang uh, like seriously, like with a band. Uh, but generally, her, uh, she's uh, completely out of that movement, completely out of everything. I just uh, introduced uh, her to, I think, Machine Head, Infected Rain, uh, those were her favorites and, at the time. And we uh, managed to collect her in excitement to being introduced to all that uh, amount um, of knowledge uh, that massive thing that heavy uh, music is like uh, the brotherhood uh, the community the unity of a musician uh, of musicianship uh, and uh, all of her um, she's a very positive person and uh, for a moment she was happy and uh, this uh, went into the album you could uh explain a little uh, about the themes that are behind these eight tracks because that's maybe not uh, obvious to people so what kind of themes are you exploring in these eight songs musically and uh, lyrically the, those are different because music itself is completely raw emotion and it came first uh, it's um, generally the birth of the song is like Dima, the first guitarist, uh, brings a pitch. Uh, Tatiana also brought a couple of pitches and we start jamming. That's usually where Yevhen ste uh, steps in. Uh, like uh, he's um, turning them um, from a pitch uh, to the stage of uh, underdeveloped demo. I think it's like this. Yevhen is uh, usually the first one to come uh, with, a with a really catchy riff or a nice solo. So he doesn't do the bones of the song. Uh, he's the second to step in. He uh, creates hooks, uh, riffs, and uh, solos, usually. Uh, then uh, uh, when the song is like that, I try to find its pacing with drums. And then the work on the lyric starts. That's usually to our uh, vocalist, uh, Roman. And uh, he's quite a crazy person about this. Because for him, it seems like a personal vendetta to explore uh, how far he can go with the uh, Ukrainian language. Because I think that he spends uh, long evenings uh, in dictionaries. Ukrainian is pretty fucking old. And he manages to find uh, some extreme uh, things that only a nerd about the language would find. Like, um, you know, there are uh, words that uh, one word means quite a lot. Like, uh, I have the only Finnish word that, uh, that I know. It's the only one, but I think you'll get the idea. Uh, I think it's Kalsari Kandit. I love the word. Uh, and uh, Roma manages to find words like that. For example, our song Petrikor. It literally is the word that almost nobody knows, but uh, there is such a word. And it means the scent of the soil after a thunderstorm. And uh, he's hardcore diving into that. 
So the lyrics are layered based on Ukrainian classics, but we don't dive into that. It's usually just Roma's job to come up with this and then to perform it uh, with, with his face. <laughs> um if we talk about lyrics uh, they are mostly about um, different things it's um, they are about depression uh, overcoming some real life hardness uh, about self reflection uh, paranoia mm, those kind of things uh, not not obviously dark um, but dealing with some problems in our life We've been talking about, of course, these uh, eight songs, and as you have mentioned, they have been uh, ready for quite some time. So, uh, do you have like a lot of material at the moment uh, in working, or is there a lot of songs already ready? Or how does like the future look for Crypta? Uh, we are not currently sure if it would be Crypta. Maybe yes, maybe no, maybe some uh, huge changes in coming. Mm, we still not have an idea. Uh, you know, we don't have that stable ground uh, beneath. <laughs> it's, um, it's hard to give um, a good answer. Uh, nevertheless, uh, yes, we have, we have pretty much material, a lot of, lot of material. Um, like uh, if we had an opportunity, uh, I think we would be able to put now the album closely <laughs> it's about uh, I, I don't know it's about 40, 40 minutes like that uh, no 30 not 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 sure, not sure about 40 but uh, at least 25 uh, if you just uh, uh, stitch everything that we have uh, in the demo stage right now, right now i think it's at least 25 maybe closer to 30 so generally, if uh, we would be for some reasons uh, forced to uh, put something that uh, could uh, be named the second album, it would be doable, I think, in three to four months, uh, but uh, it would, would not have the quality that uh, we desire right now. Meaning that uh, it has guitars, it uh, has... Mm, mm, there are bonds to those songs. But we don't think uh, we are not ready to call them complete. It's uh, like uh, 90 to 95 percent, and we are not yet ready to let them go. There's, you know, the, this small note there that uh, needs to be changed, uh, or we are not happy uh, how this ends uh, with the aftertaste, so the final coda has to be rewritten, stuff like that. Or we are not, re or we are not happy. Uh, uh, with that transition on bar 160. <laughs> but generally, they are there around, I think, uh, 25 to 30 right now. And the work uh, keeps on. Do you have like a feeling already? Is there uh, some like a new direction to the music? Or how does it differ from, let's say, these, these uh, eight songs that we have now? Let's hope. It's become more philosophic. Because uh, the first album was like, uh, mm, I thought about this interview, how would I say the feeling that I have of this album, at least I have in person. You know, mm, it's like mm, mm, a bit of that thing that when you are young, exposed to the world, you are young, dumb, happy, uh, that stuff. Look at me now. I'm already salt and pepper uh, in, uh, and in my bird. I'm already in my 40s, and I'm right now working with people that I'm com comfortable getting old with. It's another, it's another emotion. So I'd say this music is getting a bit more mature. But that's my take on this. Hmm. I would say our material was never childish. Never. <laughs> Even that album we have already uh, made. Um, in common words, um, I think that materials that we have already coming coming up next, maybe 
other album maybe uh, maybe uh, will change band name i don't know we'll see uh, but as um, as Igor said uh, they they are not completely finished and you know it's music so anytime any moment someone can bring something fresh something new uh, it may change everything who knows uh, i just don't like formulaic music like I used to say in the past, uh, if there was a formula for music, they would they would already have invented one for a perfect song. But music is dealing with emotions, and uh, it reflects uh, a bit who you are. As we progress, our music progresses. You know, there's a whole lot uh, to say on this matter, because, okay, uh, today uh, the world got, uh, got a bit better place, I hope, with the changes in Syria. Uh, it influences our situation. I just uh, don't know how, but uh, every time, uh, every day when Russia is fucked uh, is, is a good day. Let's uh, just hope uh, that uh, the world will become gradually a bit of a better place, but it is down to us. No international institutions are going to bring it. Like, you know, mm, I don't remember if I was talking about that. Uh, people are used to hoping uh, uh, on some higher entities like uh, Uncle Sam, United Nations, Red Cross, and uh, all of that is shit, meaning that uh, there is the only international, there is only force keeping uh, the Europe safe right now, and it is the armed forces of Ukraine. There is no other entity doing this. Nothing special to say. Everyone knows what's going on. Uh, this needs to be stopped. Oh,